What's going on guys? It's Simo here at YCS Portland with Mr. Bortle as always and who are we with today? Walter Jewell. And what did you do? I got a top eight. With? Salomon Great. All right, so Salomon Great got a gazelle hit to one, got a circle hit to one, and you still decided to pilot. So what was your uh, mentality going into this event? It was not the best deck, but it's it's a bad deck, but it's the best bad deck. Best bad deck. Okay. Yeah. Why do you say that? Well, it's a it's a trap deck, right? So you have to you have to draw more traps than your opponent in order to win. You have to draw more traps than you have pushes. Okay. Uh, I, I think this is the best deck that does that because you can just loop the traps, so, so you can have traps on your turn and then traps on the next turn. Yeah. And you can search them. Okay. And you can make rank force and command that cool. stun your opponent. All right. Well, let's see what you got. So uh, I guess I'll let one. Uh, it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> I think actually this deck feels more consistent with Gazelle and Circle at 1 than without it. I have no idea why, I just see it more than I did before. Oh, maybe you got lucky, whatever. 3 spinny, you just need 3, you need 3 of these. Uh, this is really good, just pops up, right? Uh, the 1 Falco. I played 2 Jaguars. <coughs> uh, I played one of the Zyres, so I figured you want 2 Jaguars in case you banish one. It helps with the grind. Um, if you banish both, that's bad, only against decks. Like the Mirror Match and Sketch Tracker, where you need to grind. And keep looping your extra deck. Uh, it doesn't matter against combo decks. Also, it's nice to open it because you end up with a uh, rank 4 when you open Gazelle Spinny or Gazelle this. Yeah, to Jaguar. Uh, I got it. It was banished a couple times and then I had a second one, so that was good. Uh, Lady Debug. It's fine. Uh, and then 3 Buffer Low. This card is re really good because I play Desires. So just draw two cards and then draw into Desires and draw two more. Uh, I think I was doing the math the other day when Gazelle and Circle was at 3, you had like. Some people chose to play Buffalo over Lady Debug. Um, so when that was a thing, you had that was before signing mining. You had three circle, three gazelles, three buffalos. Right now we have three buffalo, three signed mining, uh, one gazelle, one circle, one debug. So it's about as consistent as it was before signing mining. So it's good. It's fine. Um, this card is really good. Uh, I played this card, C Archiver. Um, I saw a bunch of people playing it, but if you don't know what it does, it's basically blue spinny. If you summon a monster to a zone link monster points to, it summons itself. So it's another level three extender. Uh, it was really good. Um because it's every every you can do it every turn. It banishes itself when it leaves the field, but it's fine. Like, you just overlay with it. Uh kinda wish I played more. But also it was good when I saw it. I <laughs> I wanted to play a lot of hand trips, so I played the three ash, I played three Valor. I played 3 Ogre, I played 3 Impermanence. Uh, I think these are the good ones. Like, there's always like a map. One of them is always bad against one deck. But overall, like, I just want to have a lot of hand traps. Because I want to. Oh, when I go second, I just want to open a lot of hand traps. When I go first, I want to open a lot of hand traps. When I, did, when I buffer, I want to draw into hand traps. When I desire, I want to draw into hand traps. Good going first, good going second, whatever. So I, I maxed out on the good ones. I didn't play Fantasmi. I was playing it over like one of these and one of these or something like that. But every time I Phantasmate, I would want to draw like another, a Valor and Ogre and Ash. So I thought, why don't I just max out on those instead of playing Phantasmate? So I chose not to play it. Did you ever miss it? Um, I don't think so. I was happy every time I saw these cards. Like, um, okay. Even Ghost Circus, it's kind of dead against Son of Angry, but a lot of times they have to make um, Bailings now and just search for the Triggering Gazelle. So if you Ogre Bailings, that can be really strong. Um, Etc. Uh, then I played three desires. Um, a lot of people were telling me not to play this because of whatever reasons. <laughs> but this is just the best card in the deck, or it was the best card for my weekend. Um, just draw two cards. You draw if you. It's, this card is good when you are when your hand's bad because it gives you two more draws to make your hand good. And this card, this deck doesn't need a lot of cards to make a play, so drawing two cards can be very impactful. It's good when you're ahead because you just draw two more cards and you can just draw two hand traps and then your opponent is never going to get over like five hand traps in the back row. Um, it's good when you're losing, it's good when you're winning, it's good when you go second, it's good when you go first. I, uh, on my side deck, I also decided I wanted to play cards that are good to top deck, so like Panker tops and whatever. Um, so Desires is good with that, uh, helps you draw into your side. Same when you go first, just helps you draw into your side. Um, I played multiples of like the one ofs, so it didn't hurt a lot to banish stuff. The, the worst card to banish is the field spell. I can, you can banish Gazelle, like that's fine. Um, because Gazelle is essentially like a plus one. Because you'll send a trap and you'll get it back. Or you'll send a, an extender and then you make a push. But Desire is a plus one, so if you banish Gazelle, you can't break even. It's really good, really, really good. I, I, drawing into this with Buffalo is insane. You end up drawing four cards. Um, three time mining, yeah, okay. you need to play it. 
because you see yourself. I played the Call of the Grape. <laughs> this is the card that I was the most iffy on because it's bad going second, kind of, and then it's not that. It's, I mean, it's good going first, I guess, but especially when they have a hand trap. If they don't have a hand trap, you kind of have to hope that they have a, a deck where this will be good against. So at one point I was playing three. I ended up cutting it to two, and I think I think it was good. Uh, at, one, at one point I cut it completely, but I was happy I played it. Uh, there were a couple times where I just drew it and it, it like helped out a lot. Like I just won the game because I pushed through, or I banished like a ray and then killed the Kudari or whatever. It was really there was one mirror match where it just won me the game because I banished. The guy made a Stalio, a second Stalio, and I banished the first one, and he linked it away, and then he tried to bounce my Violet Chimera, but he couldn't because he forgot like Stalio couldn't bounce. And he couldn't get over it, um, so that was strong. Uh, skill spell, you don't want to manage this with Cyrus, so the way you play the Cyrus is you try to make a link first, search the field spell. If you can't search Gazelle, you search Gazelle. And then you activate the Cyrus and then you pray that you draw two hand traps or two extenders or whatever you need. And then half the time it works. And then the one circle, and then I played two of each trap. Um, two of each because I played the Cyrus, so I don't banish them as often. But also, like, going first, these girls are insane. Like, I always, if I open one of these, you just search the other one, you have both. That's crazy. Like, these are, this is probably the only unfair thing about the deck. So, I just wanted to play more. Um, it sucks that, like, if you're going second against combo, like, you're going to be bad. That's why I didn't play more. But if it was, like, a more control meta, I'd probably, like, I'd maybe play three rages and then two of these. Um, I was looking at a lot of the world's deck lists with Salamangri, and that's what they were doing because they weren't expecting combo. Like, the, I think the winner, the guy that won, played three of these and two of these. Um, so, it's kind of, like, taking note of that. Uh, yeah, this was really good. I played a lot of control. These cards are so good against control. Um, Joseph Kang. Yeah, which is really good. Number four is starting without you in table A. X-Deck. Bailings. Uh, three Bailings. Three Wolf. Two Heat Leos. Standard. Um, I played Borrowload. Oh, I'm setting mind control, so I felt like I needed to play a big link. So if I mind control something, I can go into something big. Make make turn my control into a big push. So I, I'd said Borlo because it's probably the best one. I need to get over big stuff. Uh, Hida, Phoenix, uh, only one Salio. Um, a lot of people were telling me to play two, and in my first draft I was playing two, but I ended up playing Super Poly, so I needed to make space, and I cut the Salio. I never missed the second one. I was just careful with my Sunlight Wolf sending this back. Um, you don't really need it against a lot of matchups. You need it against decks that make big monsters and against like decks that make orchids because they think you like hard to get over so in those matchups you have to be really careful with it and like put it back um other than that like it was fine playing at one i never i made it twice a lot but it it was because i was putting it back uh baguska this was really good uh well, you play baguska and dweller but i was making baguska a lot more than dweller um going in blind is just better it's better in the mirror match because super is at three so they can't violate camaro to ku um it's good against like a lot of the random decks. Like there was like a very crazy, all the Crusader decks. This is, this is better against because they can't force your your back row with the with the guy that pops, Reclusia. Um, it puts everything in the fence. Uh, also stops like near like against all the Thunder decks. Puts Colossus in the fence against like Pure and whatever. Because if the monsters are too big, like some you just can't get over it, and you need to like the Goose guy and wait a little bit. Um, it was really good. And the mirror, uh, I already mentioned that, but yeah, it's good. Um, it's good against the Dragon Link deck. Um, it's good against like almost everything. If I can make a rank four going blind, it's going to be Um and Then you also play Dweller. Dweller's Dweller. Uh, it won me like a match, actually. And then it won me a couple games. But I didn't. I didn't make it nearly as much as Bugusca. And then in Violet Chimera, uh, I don't. Well, I don't play the Fusion of Fire, but I play Super Poly, so I'm gonna play Violet Chimera. Um, side uh, to DD Crow. To Lancia. Uh, this was the only other hand traps I played. This because, you, I mean, it's Lancia against Orcus and Dex that Banish. Diddy Crow is getting a Sky Striker, it's getting against Orcus, it's getting against the Mirror Match. Uh, it was really, really solid all around. Um, these are good going first and second, just another reason. I really wanted to play Yamma because I think that's like usually the strongest hand trap of the tournament. But I ended up playing these just because I would have more stuff going first. When I was doing like the math of like, okay, when I, in this match I'm gonna take this out, I'm gonna put this in. I sometimes didn't have enough cards to put in going first, so these are going to go first. Um, against Pendulum, I have to put in one DD Crow because I have to take out like cards that are back, uh, going second, like the second Rage or the second whatever, uh, Call by the Grave. Um, so I put in one DD Crow and I actually 
I think I won a game three because he opened Shrine and I opened DD Curl, so I got super lucky. Oh god. <laughs> Can I do the one DD Curl against the Shrine? Rip. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, Panker Tops. Uh, I mean, it's really good, we already know. Uh, it's also good, just good to top take off the Cyrus. It's good to get over the the dragon combos because you force the bounce and then you can force the negate. Oh, it's big, it's getting scratch tracker. Mm, especially especially drawing it off of Buffer Lord Desires is what I like. And then to my control, same reasons. Uh, also my control just takes stuff and then like with the it is things like you take it over. Number 10. This card's crazy in the mirror match. Over by the um, that against that full negate decks. Uh, I didn't draw this a lot, uh, but one of the times I drew it, I drew against Pendulum and then I just use it to force the uh, vortex, so I can like make my actual play. Um, yeah, it was good. And then uh, three twin. Uh, didn't play cosmic or anything, just twin. Uh, I think it's fine because I played two rage and then foxy. Um, so I think that was enough back or hate. It's just and twin is good because supposedly it's cash maker, right, I guess. Then three super poly. Uh, at one point I wasn't playing this card during testing, but I felt like I, I needed a blowout card or something that. Was just unfair, and I think Super Poly is the best one for this deck because you make the you make like a the this for combo decks or decks that make a lot of darks, and then in the mirror match uh, you blow them out. Um, so yeah, it shows Super Poly. Uh, you can side this in against a lot of random stuff too, like danger decks. I sided in against like Pendulum going first but not going second too, um, because they don't end they don't usually end on two darks, but if you go second they usually summon two darks to like make their play. Um, yeah, I said it in a lot. Going, I like it more going first than going second because sometimes like making this going second is just not enough, or they'll they'll know and they'll play around it. There's also a combo that makes the Trishula the fusion with the Guard Dragons, and they manage this. So that makes you super good. Yeah, I think that was that great. Cool. Any shout outs or anything? Um, shout out to the guy that's playing great Maju that beat me in top eight. <laughs> He's in top four right now. Uh, shout out to everybody at San Diego Games, uh, my locals, and all my friends. Uh, you guys are cool. And then, oh, my friend uh, Chewy, he top 32, it was his first stop, and it was the first time he traveled, so I think that's really cool. Um, shout out to everybody, shout out to my girlfriend. Um, shout out to everybody that helped me uh, with the text, uh, like uh, Brian, uh, Francisco, uh, Caesar, like they were helping me. They were talking to me about this. They told me not to play the Cyrus, the Cyrus was so good. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Thanks so much, Walter. Appreciate it. Yeah.